Good morning to everybody that follows us every day for the message of the day. I am Ramon Leonardo speaking from the Ashram for Unfoldment and today is January the 11th. There is only one sun reflected a million times. Are you aware of your own thoughts? You think that you think, but what are the mechanics of thought? Where do thoughts originate? How did they come to be there? What is the inner mechanism that makes a thought form itself as a conscious thought? There is so much involved out there in your depth, where you go back and further back and further back to the original thought, which, by the way, was not thought by anyone or by any being. It found its existence by itself. And that thought force that found its own existence is still functioning today and will continue to function until eternity. So be glad that you have that little ego, for at least you have a little knowledge of what is going on around you and at best of what is going on to a very little, to a very limited degree within you. The fact that we have a conscious thought, where does it originate? How back you have to go? Because to have a conscious thought in the Spanish language, for example, you know you would have to go back to where this Spanish language come from and then it's your parents and your parents spoke a little bit different than you and you go back and back and back and where do you go? You go to this primal energy that was there in the Big Bang that is there today and that will be there until eternity. In reality there is no individual mind. Individual minds are just reflections of the sun in that million bubbles in the lake. There are not a million suns. It is just reflected a million times in as many bubbles as there are. But there is only one sun. There is only one consciousness. There is only one mind. And then millions of bubbles. There is no need to build unity. Oneness is what is, moment to moment. True confidence and faith can only appear when you have gone through the fire of doubt. For then, you water and fertilize the mind. It is all true, but you have to go full circle to understand this. Now, As we have to start from where we are, we will start by the fact that we think that we think. But are we really conscious of the mechanics of thoughts? So for today we are going to do a very simple practice. Remember, the practice of the day is just for one day. So it's very easy. You just need to apply it today. It's called Satya, stick to truth. So for today, stick completely to truth. You will not tell a single lie. And when I mean lie, I mean little lies. Are you going out? No, but in reality you are thinking that you are going out or maybe you are going out. Or is this just nice? Uh, oh yes, but you are thinking of oh, terrible. So, you are going to stick to truth, which means to truth of facts and to the truth of you are going to think what you speak, what you act. So, if you find yourself thinking something different of what you are saying, you immediately stop and try to 
say what you think in a nice way, with consideration, but stick to truth. Stick to truth for today. It's not so easy. According to statistics, an average American tells 14 lies each day. This was a big scientific study uh, with 250,000 people studied. And when I say a lie, I mean things as little as that. Um, are you going to wear the green shoes? No. In fact, you are going to wear them. But you say no because uh, the person is, that is asking you also uses the green shoes and you don't want her to know, or whatever. It might be little lies, pink lies, they say, or lies of consideration, people saying, you know, uh, do I look beautiful? Yes, and you're thinking, so ugly. No, I mean, if you want to find truth, it's better to stick to truth. So for today, it's only one day. Remember, practice satya. Stick to truth in your thoughts, in your words, and also in your inner chatter. When you are involved in an inner chatter and you are projecting yourself like what you are not, or you are telling in that inner chatter something that is not true, or you just discard that thought. It looks easy, it's not so easy, but remember, it's only 16 hours, it's only one day, tomorrow will be another day, and thank you very much for listening. Have a very beautiful day. Too.